Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos and this is another video in my beginner's guide to Cubase. Um, I think that's what it's going to be called, I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, this is a, a new series on my channel. If you've not seen any of the other videos yet then go and check them out. And in this video I'm going to be talking about how to use the time signature track and also how to change tempo and how to change the time signatures. So let's get to that video. Okay, so our song so far is written in 4-4 and if I press this button down here, the metronome, or you can click C on your keyboard, that basically activates the metronome click and then if I press play now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, you can see that we're in 4-4, four, four. we've got 4 beats to every bar. What if we want to change that though? What if you want to write a song that's in, I don't know, 7-8 or 5-8 or 9-16? Something really weird like that. What you want to do is you want to press Control and T. It might be another key on the Mac, I'm not quite sure. I've never used a Mac. Um, I'm always a Windows guy. And that basically opens up the track editor. First of all, make sure this is selected here, the Activate Tempo track. A lot of the times people try and make changes on this and it's not activated and it just won't make a difference. Make sure that's activated. And see this here where it says 4-4, that's the time signature. I'm going to mess about with a new time signature at the end of what we've written so far so it doesn't mess any of the stuff up that we've done previously. So to add a new time signature, just click on this Draw button here and then click where you want the new time signature to be. And I'm just going to type it in. So let's change to 6, 8. So 6, slash, 8, and then press Enter. So we're now going to 6 beats per bar. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then the next bar. So let's see what that sounds like. If you want to stop the loop as well, by the way, see how there's a loop on here? If you put the mouse over the top half, of that bar number and then just click and when it goes grey that means it won't loop so the first four bars are going to be in 4-4 four, four, and then it's going to switch to 6-8 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so that's how you would change the time signatures. You can easy, you can do this as much as you want, just messing about with time signatures. Like I can have one bar of six eight, then back to four four, then let's go to two four. So one two, and then the next bar. Let's do three four. So I'm just typing in and then pressing enter on the keyboard. If you want to delete these, just go to the. I'm going to call it an eraser. For all you Americans watching, but we would call it a rubber. And you just delete them by clicking on them. Right, so say you want to change the tempo. If you want to change the tempo of the whole project altogether, say you've not been messing with any of the tempo track at all, you just want to change the tempo, you can just increase it with this one here, this little thing down here. So let's increase it to, say, I don't know, 140. Let's just go put it down really slow and put 80. So I'm just going to type in 80, press enter on the keyboard. That's now really slow. I'm going to reset that to 120. But say you want to have one section of your song that's 120 and then you want it to speed up to a really high tempo and then you want to slow it right down how would i then do that well we go back to the tempo track by pressing ctrl and t and this is actually the tempo right here so you can see we're on 120 and i'm going to go to the top i'm going to click the draw tool and we're going to make sure it's set to ramp so it's going to start off at 120 and then at bar 2 I want it to start speeding up 
So I'm going to make sure I click on the 120 again, just to add an, a new point. And then we're going to speed it up to, let's go to 160 at bar 3. And that will create a ramp. If you don't want a ramp, say you just want a jump, just select this to step. And then when you click on it, it'll just create a, a step at that point. I'm going to leave it for ramp right now. And then at bar 4, I want it to go really slow, down to 60 BPM. In fact, I want that to be a, a step there. So we're going to go to step, and we're going to do that again to so 60 BPM. So there we go. We're going to start at 120, bar 1. And then bar 2, it's going to slowly start increasing to 160 BPM. And then at bar 4, it's going to slow right down to 60 BPM. Let's see what that sounds like. It's going to sound absolutely atrocious, but it's just an example for this video. And that's how you control the tempo. I use Cubase to do a lot of orchestral, they're called orchestral mock-ups. So I use orchestral VSTs and I would write a whole orchestral song. and the amount of times I mess with the tempo track, like say I want to give like um, a song a bit more energy, I'll speed up the tempo just for that section, and then say I want to then move into something that's a bit more slower. You've got to mess with the tempo track again just to get that tempo right. So that's how you would change the tempos and the time signatures. Let me know if this has helped in any way, and. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for more of my videos. I'll see you next time.